Hi everyone, today's story time, um, we are going to read the book called Not Quite Narwhal by Jessa, Jesse Sima. Okay, hope you guys all enjoy. Kelp was born in the deep ocean. He knew early on that he was different from all the other narwhals. His tusk wasn't as long as everyone else's, he had different tastes in food, and he wasn't a very good swimmer. But his friends didn't seem to mind, so Kelp decided that he wouldn't either. That is, until he was swept away by a strong current. I wish I were a better swimmer. Kelp found himself at the surface closer to land than he had ever been before. High up on a cliff, he spotted a mysterious, sparkling creature. It looked so familiar. It looked like kelp. Kelp swam towards the land as fast as he could, which wasn't very fast at all, hoping that he would catch up with this creature that just looked that looked just like him. When he finally reached the shore, Kelp felt a little bit anxious. He had never left the ocean. He was nervous about walking for the first time, but the land creatures made it look so easy. It wasn't. Eventually, he got the hang of it. Everything on land was strange and beautiful, but also kind of scary. Kelp began to think that he might never find the creature that looked just like him. But as he stumbled out of the forest, land narwhals actually were unicorns, and by the looks of it, so are you. Kelp had never heard of unicorns before. They taught him all sorts of new things about his tusk. We call them horns. They introduced introduced him to unicorn delicacies, and they showed him how to gallop. There was no doubt that Kelp was in fact a unicorn. He was having so much fun that he didn't want to leave. But then he remembered all of his friends under the sea. Kelp missed them terribly. So he said goodbye to the unicorns and returned to the ocean. Come back soon. Kelp swam towards home as fast as he could, which wasn't very fast at all, hoping that the narwhals would still like him now that he was a unicorn. When he finally arrived, Kelp had butterflies in his stomach. Welcome home, Kelp! Kelp took a deep breath and told his friends the news. It turns out I'm not a narwhal. Of course you're not. I'm a unicorn. We all knew that. They took it quite well. Kelp was happy to be home, but now that he had experienced life on land with the unicorns, he couldn't seem to forget them. Did he want to be a land narwhal with the unicorns? Or a sea unicorn with the narwhals? Kelp couldn't decide, but then he realized that maybe... Just maybe, he didn't have to choose. And that's that. Hope you guys all enjoyed this book.